everyone, it's Kathleen Dunphy, and welcome to episode three of Backstories, where I talk about the motivation and inspiration behind my paintings. Today I'm going to do something a little bit different. Um, most of you all probably know me as being an oil painter, um, and I do primarily work in oil, both on plein air and in the studio, but I also work in other mediums. Um, I've done a lot of work in graphite and charcoal, um, but I've also, for the past couple of years, been experimenting with gouache, and today I'm going to talk to you about my gouache paintings. First of all, a definition for those of you who are not familiar with the medium. Gouache is basically opaque watercolor. So uh, unlike oil paint, it cleans up with water instead of solvents. And also unlike oil paint, it dries very quickly and can be painted on paper. So to me, it has just been the ideal medium to use um, both for travel and for if I just have a, a short period of time to set up and paint and don't want to fuss with all the, the cleanup and um, complications sometimes that there are in painting with oil. It's been a super fun thing for me to use and I'm really excited about the series of paintings that I've done using this medium. My gouache kit is actually a lot smaller than my oil painting kit. I tend to paint really small in gouache, just 6x8 or maybe 6x12 at the largest. It has enabled me to go places that I just haven't been able to carrying my backpack with my oils. There's only so far I can hike out and still be productive enough to do an oil painting and then hike all the way back if I'm carrying a 20 pound pack. For example, with this painting up in the Sierra, I was able to hike in and do that little gouache painting and come back out and have done a beautiful hike, not be exhausted, and have some, some painting to show for it at the end of the day. Um, it's also great to have on vacation when I was with my husband up on the uh, coast of California last spring. Um, we were spent the day out hiking and walking on the coast and then stopped for lunch and was able to um, paint a little bit and enjoy the scenery and then pack everything in my pack and go without having to worry about the paint drying or the mess of cleaning up the oil painting. It's also great on super hot days when you don't want to be outside very long uh, to just set up at the side of the vineyard near where we live and paint some roses. So it's been a really fun um, and interesting experiment to use the gouache paintings. Because gouache is water media, um, you have to frame it differently than you do with oil. Anytime you have something that's painted on paper, you have to protect that by framing it under glass. You can varnish gouache, but I don't like the way that looks as much as I do just framing it under glass. So all of my gouache paintings are framed under non-glare glass so that you don't get that reflection from any of the light that shines on the glass. And they're framed in these distressed wood frames that I feel like this nice, nice gray wood frame really accentuates the paintings without um, taking away from any of the colors that are in the paintings. I've always been a big believer in challenging myself as an artist. I think it's kind of easy to fall into a rut and just do the same thing over and over and not try different things that are really difficult. And through the encouragement of a good friend, I started experimenting with gouache. And it was really frustrating at first. It behaves very differently from oil. Um, with oil paint, I'm used to just mixing up the color that I see and putting it down, and it stays that color forever. Um, but with gouache, it dries slightly differently, and I had to just kind of get used to letting go and accepting differences in gouache and sort of embracing those differences and having fun with them. I feel like these times of, of trying different media and doing different things really improve my work overall. It's sort of like cross-training if, if you're an athlete. Gouache has made me not be quite as fussy as I am with oil. It's made me just enjoy the process a lot more and it's brought a lot of joy to my work. I always have my gouache kit in my car with me and um, having it there has, has really inspired me to just stop and take advantage of these beautiful scenes that I see or moments in time that maybe normally I would um, not take the time to set up and do a painting of. So for example, I did a painting of a really sweet little old house in Sutter Creek and the gardens behind it as I was waiting for a friend who was gonna meet me for coffee and was running a little bit late. And I also have uh, just stopped at the side of the road on the way home when I've seen something that just has to be painted and popped the hatch on the back of the car and sat in the back of the car and done a gouache painting. I've also painted recently up in Anacortes, Washington. I was visiting my sister and teaching a workshop. And at the very end of everything, the last night that I was there, we went out on the beach and watched the sun go down. And I did a painting and we just had a great time watching the sun go down and then having that memory of that day. These gouache paintings really do become sort of a, a 
postcard of my days, a little bit of a diary of my life as an artist. And I hope that you as viewers and you as collectors can see these paintings and feel the joy that I had when I was painting them, feel the happiness and the spontaneity that, that occurs in these paintings, and appreciate maybe a little bit of my life um, that comes through in this work. So thank you for watching Backstories. You can view my work on KathleenDunphy.com and sign up for my newsletter to find out about the next episode of Backstories where I'll be talking about seascapes and painting in oil.